it's helping people, it's making a difference um, in a lot of people's lives. Um, so I think it's good, and I think it's definitely a step forward in, in the right direction. Junior Emily Lewis believes that the loan forgiveness program laid out by the Biden administration is going to benefit many students facing debt. But many students feel that the relief doesn't go far enough. I think it's a good start. I honestly think that there should be more. Last Thursday, six weeks after the original announcement, the Education Department published new guidelines for the relief plan stating that any borrower with federal loans not held by the Education Department cannot obtain the one-time debt relief. This new rule will affect any borrower with federal family education loans or Perkins loans who did not apply for consolidation before September 29th of this year. Recent Temple graduate Katie Miernicki says that the reversal will affect the amount of relief she could receive. What I think a lot of people, including myself, are um, feeling like the disappointment and the excitement is definitely waning as we now realize this might be subject to more rollbacks in the future. The Student Financial Aid Office located in Walkman Hall is sharing this statement with students who are questioning if their loans will be affected by this new plan. The amount of student loan forgiveness is tied to whether or not the borrower received a federal Pell Grant in college. Students questioning if they received a Pell Grant can review their student aid .gov account. The department recommends that borrowers anticipating the application visit studentaid.gov or subscribe to notifications at ed.gov slash subscribe. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Alyssa Clausel.